Mac method gang. How to maximize your winter arc. If you watch my channel, you should be going hard this winter. I know it's hard, guys. Trust me. I know. Even me, bro. It's been hard for me to stick into my kind of routine, the flow of things. So that's actually why I made this video because I saw myself struggling through it. And I had to remind myself like, yo, you're the person that's supposed to be trying to help people out. But sometimes I've been needing help. Sometimes I've been needing the support. So I'm like, why, do, why don't I make this video to help other people and help myself get back on track? Because I'm back on it today. Honestly, I've been slacking for like a little bit. You know what I mean? Still getting my stuff done, but definitely not as I was. So we're back into the swing of things. No, I did not stop completely. No, I don't plan on stopping. We're going full throttle. So let's get straight to it. How to maximize your winter arc. So your problem, right? We got to get into the problem. Why do you feel like it's so hard? Why do you feel like you have so many issues? Well, I just laid out three prime reasons why you're probably failing right now when you're doing your winter arc. Or if you started it and you completely stopped, fell off, this is why, okay? So number one, problem number one is you have no schedule. And now this is a, I'm everything, every single problem I put is because I relate to the problem. And I understand that it's a hard thing, but it doesn't matter if it's hard. It has to be done, right? If you want to achieve your goals, you got to do it. So no schedule. This is one of the things that's very hard to set up. But once you have it done and set up and you really, really go hard on your schedule, it's really hard for you to mess it up. Because the problem with everyone, really, when we start doing something new or we just want to get on our grind, we want to do this, we want to do that. We don't really have a schedule at all. We say we're going to do it. Like, we'll just be like, oh, you know, I'm, I'm going to go to the gym at like three. That's the only thing we have planned out in the day, though. We didn't plan out anything else. So that's it. And you can't really function like that because once you start getting more responsibilities, you start getting more things added onto your itinerary. You have to know when to space it out. And the thing is, too is that you'll be you'll be sitting there thinking, oh, should I go to the gym first or should I do this first? Should I get my work done first or should I start reading first or should I do? You're not going to know what to do, when to do it or how to do it when you don't have a schedule. I know because that's happened to me basically my whole life. And this is the only reason why I would say school, besides if you're trying to be a lawyer, doctor, things like that, is really good is because they it actually forces That's why you have all these classes that one starts at 8 a.m., the next one starts at 9 a.m., the next one starts, you know what I'm saying, 10, 11, 12. Everything is broken down. It's not just, and it's every day the same thing, you know what I'm saying? It's not just, oh, this class is, today is going to be at 5, but tomorrow is going to be at 11 in the morning. It's not like that. Everything is broken down. So you need to have a schedule. You need to have a schedule with exact time slots, exact time frames that you're going to do work. And matter of fact, when you have it set up to like, oh, I'm, I'm going to actually spend I'm going to spend an hour doing this. You're more likely to do it for that hour and actually have deep work done in that hour because you have a time frame set up. You, you're challenging yourself and you're forcing yourself to be doing all that you can get done in that one hour. So best believe you're going to focus more. You're going to be in a deep work state a deep workflow and you're gonna get way more done rather than just i'm just gonna pick it up and randomly i'm gonna work on it for 12 hours knowing damn well you're not gonna work on it for 10 minutes right so let's get to the second problem is you're not consistent you have no consistency you keep putting it off so this one is the war this is honestly the worst one because you can have a schedule or you cannot have a schedule and still get stuff done Obviously, the schedule is more efficient, but with this one, it's over with if you don't have if you're not consistent, right? Anything you do, you have to be consistent. We all know this. If you're trying to be a gym guy, if you're trying to job, business, work, relationship, anything you do, you have to be consistent with it or it's going to deteriorate. It's going to fall off. It's going to start messing up. Literally, it's just how it goes. It's literally just how it goes, right? So, and it's the hardest one. The hardest one is being consistent, especially when you don't want to do it, especially when you don't know how to do it or you don't, oh, uh, maybe I should do this, maybe I should do that. Guys, it's hard. This stuff isn't meant to be easy because if it was easy, everyone would be doing it. Every single person would be on their winter arc doing all they have to do, but they're not. 90% of the population is not doing this. You know what I mean? It's it's just because it's easier not to do this stuff, but we face the consequences later on. 
we wonder we sit there when we're 30 35 wondering why you know we're not where we wanted to be or where did the time go this and that you don't want to be like that i don't want to be like that i don't want to be like that bro sitting there at 35 oh man i wish i no i don't wish anything i wish i'm gonna do it today so i don't have to be sitting there hoping wishing and all this so you have to be consistent. How do you be consistent? With the schedule. It makes it more easier for you to be consistent because you actually have it in place when you're going to do something. You know what I'm saying? It's easier for you to do it every day. If I put, um, uh, and I have a time slot, I'm going to hit the gym every day, 5 to 6.30, every day. That's the thing. I know when it, gets to five, when it gets to 5 o'clock, oh, it's time for me to go to the gym. But if I didn't have a schedule, if I didn't have nothing, I'll be sitting there like, oh, maybe I should hit it at 3. Or how about I go at 10? And and then eventually it's just it's not gonna work bro so having it you have to be consistent bro you have to be consistent 100 percent. that's hands down the most important thing out of everything bro i literally out of everything is you have to be consistent and it's the hardest one to be honest number three kind of banks off of no consistency which is no discipline you have no discipline you rely too much on motivation listen motivation is cool i feel like this is how it works right motivation is stronger than discipline in the sense where when you get that that huge hit that huge high off of pure mode of pure motivation you're going hard you know what i'm saying you're going hard you're putting in the work for one to three days max one to four days max you're probably going hard as hell you're getting in the gym you're you're running off straight off motivation you're on that high but then once that four days is up three days is up what happens you start uh maybe i'm a you know what i'm saying cool off take a break do this and that eh, how about i it, it starts wearing out and it wears out quick it wears out quick trust me guys i've been through this too everyone has you know what i mean um it's one of the it's one of the best things to get work done but the threshold is four days the time span is like four days so you don't want to rely on just motivation you need to rely on the discipline motivation is cool but if you don't if your motivation runs out and you don't have discipline to to keep you going to be the foundation the groundwork you're gonna you're gonna stop you're gonna stop you've done it before i've done it before everyone's done it before it's because it's once that motivation runs out you feel like you can take it off or oh i'm gonna just or i don't have motivation see the problem with motivation is it's basically you want to do that work at this point in time. You feel like you want to do the work. You're in a mood to do the work because you're motivated to do it, right? But what happens when you're not motivated to do it? But if you don't feel like doing it, you're not going to do it. You have no motivation. You don't want to do it because you're not in the mood to do it. But with discipline, it doesn't matter if you feel like you want to do it. If the rainbow is, you know what I'm saying, in the sky, the stars are aligned. You don't care what's going on in the world. It doesn't matter what you feel. It doesn't matter your emotion. It doesn't matter this and that. You All you know is that you have to do it. You have to go in. You have to show up. You have to do your work. You have to do whatever you're trying to do. Or else you're going to fall off. Or But that's but that's where discipline comes in. That's what discipline is really, is really what you need, to be honest. Because without it, you're, you're screwed. You're, you might be straight for a week, but after then it's it's over with you know what i'm saying so that's number three the solution right so we talked about the problems we need the solution so how do we fix the schedule well the simplest thing to do is to create a morning schedule morning routine three to five things you must do every morning so this is the best thing you could do is literally create a list of three to five things you have to do every single morning i put three to five because you don't want to put so much to where it's you feel like oh I can't do it or it's too much work. You don't want to feel like that. You want it to be easy sailing. You want it to be you want it to be easy. Right? So me, my thing is easy. Wake up in the morning, I pray. Uh make my bed, you know what I mean? Drink my water next to my nightstand, do my 50 ab rollers, do a quick workout, a quick little pump workout, you know what I mean? And that's pretty much it. And then um I'll uh, depends on what I'm doing. I'll either read or write down an idea or something. That's five things or four things that I do every single morning that keeps me winning from the start. 
it keeps me already with my schedule. That's my schedule in the morning. That's the beginner thing. Once you make your schedule in the morning, you keep it up. Then you want to make a schedule for the basically the rest of the day. Okay, what do I do after work? I know I work nine to five. What am I doing after? Obviously depends on things come up, whatever, but not every single day something's going to come up to where you can't do it. You know what I'm saying? So you set it up like your schedule. What do you do when I get home? Oh, I want to go to the gym. So I get home at six gym, six fifteen to seven o'clock or seven fifteen. Get back, shower, eat. Let's put that for a, a, a block period of seven fifteen to eight o'clock, eight o'clock to ten o'clock. I have free time. What should I do? I'm going to work on my whatever I'm doing for an hour, eight to nine, nine to ten. I'm probably going to go to sleep at 1030. What else should I do? Let me just read whatever it is. You get what I'm saying? You got to set it up like that. Once you set it up like that, you have your schedule and you'll be able to actually do what you set out to do. Solution two. This is for when you have no consistency. Do the work even when you don't want to. So this is how you build. This is how you build consistency, bro. You have to do it when you don't want to. Oh, I don't want to go to the gym too bad. Too bad, because guess what? If I don't want to go to the gym and I don't go tomorrow, I'm not probably not going to want to go and again. Why would I want to go? I just took a break. I just let off the gas. I'm not going to go full throttle. I'm already easing up. So it's like if I stop today, chances are and I have no discipline, you know what I'm saying? Chances are I'm probably going to take off that tomorrow off, too, because I don't feel like doing it. I don't want to go, bro, so I'm not going to go. That's the one thing I never fall off is the gym. I've never fell off in the gym. I've been going, I've been at least working out. I wouldn't say gym every single day, but I mean like working out. I haven't missed that since 2018. I've been working out for six years straight. Never missed a day ever. That is something that discipline and consistency for when it comes to that is I will never lose that ever because at this point it's been going on for six years straight, bro. So that's kind of the discipline I'm trying to get right now. Um, and the consistency I'm trying to get right now with YouTube and with my business and things like that. And even my job, you know what I'm saying? Because, yeah, I got the gym down, but it's time now to level up this wise, finance wise. You know what I'm saying? Intelligence, all that stuff. So that's solution two. Solution three, motivation only lasts for about one or three days. I just explained it pretty much banking off of two. Yeah, I basically talked about the solution in the first one. You need to stop relying on motivation and you need to have discipline. This goes hands in hand, hand in hand with the solution of two. It's basically the same thing. So that's you. You need a you need to push it, bro. You need to go hard. You need to get it done. You know what I mean? It, it is what it is. You have to do it or else the alternative is not doing it and then staying stuck. You don't want to stay stuck, bro. What do you want? You need to write down on a whiteboard or in, in a notebook exactly what you want and remind yourself every single day of what it is that you want. You have to write it down because you have to see it. You have to see it to believe it. You have to believe it to make it come true. You literally need to get a whiteboard, bro. If you don't have a whiteboard, buy one. If you don't have a notebook, buy one. Whatever. You have to see it every day. Oh, I want this. Oh, I want that. I want this car. I want this house. I want this clothes. I want to get better at talking. I want to get better at this. I want to learn this. I want to learn that. Once you see this, it's going to refresh you to stay on point because you know the days when you're falling off, you're not really thinking about what you want. You're not really thinking about, oh, I need to get this goal done. I need to do this. I need to do that. You're not thinking about that. You're thinking of pissing off, going on the game, doing whatever, and you're not really caring about your goals or what you have to do. So if you have this plastered all over your room, all over everywhere, you see it all the time. It's your phone background. It's this and that. It's low. It's going to make you feel like crap when you don't do it because you're basically lying to yourself. You have all this stuff everywhere saying you want this and that, and you're doing nothing to do it. So if you see your phone and it's a background saying that do all that you can do each day or something, or I'm I my dream car, whatever it is, when you see that picture and you know that you didn't do shit today, anything that's going to help you achieve that, you're going to start feeling bad. You're going to be like, damn, I'm a fraud. Low key, you're going to start thinking that. You know what I mean? It's just it's what it is. So I suggest you definitely not even suggest you have to literally write down everything and put it everywhere all over your wall. So you have to remind yourself, how are you going to achieve these goals? It's not just the goals, too. You need to write down how you're going to get the goals because the goals is cool. Oh, I want this car. Or I want this house, whatever. That's cool. But how am I going to get it? I can say I want all this, but if I don't know how I'm going to get it, I'm never going to get it. 
So then you break it down. Oh, I want this body. How am I going to get this body, though? I'm going to need a gym membership. I'm going to need a program. I'm going to need a diet. What's my macros? What's my this? What's my that? This routine, this, that routine. It's, and that applies to everything. Oh, I want to be a doctor. How am I going to be a, bo- a doctor? Oh, I need to do this. I need to learn that. I probably need to get good grades. I need to tap in with my mentor. Whatever it is, bro. You got to set it up to where you have systems and how, you, how you're going to do it. You can want anything, but if you don't know how, you don't have the actual map to get there, you're never going to get there. You know what I'm saying? So environment, this is major. Environment is major. You need to be around people that are doing the same thing that you're trying to do. If you want to be good at basketball, you you probably need to start hanging around basketball players and hoopers. If you want to be ripped, rich, intelligent, etc., you need to hang, hang around. That's a typo. Hang around people that is already um, those things. So it's facts, yo. If I want to be a basketball guy, I want to get better at hooping. I'm not going to be hanging around golfers. Yeah, I might have, uh, you know, kick it with a couple golfers, whatever. But if I'm trying to really learn how to hoop, bro, I need a, my friends need to be hoopers. I need to be around people that are hoopers all the time because guess what? If I'm around them, I'm going to start seeing what they do. I'm going to start learning how they do it. They're going to start helping me how to do it. If I'm if I'm fat as hell, I'm trying to get ripped. Who? It just I'll put it to you this way. There's two groups. There's one group that's fat and there's one group that's ripped and jacked. I'm fat right now. I'm trying to be ripped, though. What group do you think I should be with? The fat guys or the ripped guys? Obviously, the fucking ripped guys, bro. Because if I go with them, they're going to show me the ropes. Oh, this is how you do this. Oh, let's work out. Or let's do this. They're going to push me to get ripped. Guess what? I'm going to just copy what they do, do everything they do. They say do this, I'm going to do that. I'm not going to listen to those fat guys. What am I going to do with the fat guys? Be fat with them. I don't want to be fat with them. I'm trying to be ripped, bro. So I'm not going to be with them. It's the same thing if I'm trying to get rich. Stop hanging around broke ass people if you're trying to get rich. Listen, I know we're all, you know what I'm saying? We have friends, childhood friends, all this stuff. I'm not saying ditch, abandon all your friends or whatever. But what I'm saying is you need to be hanging around people that are doing that. You can still have those friends, but best believe you better be trying to find people that have it that's up. If I'm trying to learn a business, I need to be around someone that has a business, bro. I need to be around someone that this is okay. This is what I do. Oh, this is how I got that. This is how. That's what I gotta be around. It, it is what it is. You can try to fake it. You can try to cope and bro. You should want to be around those people. I want to be around lit people, bro. <laughs> what? <laughs> the, you know what I'm saying? Last one. Start today. I'm gonna just keep it p. You got to start today, bro. Watching videos like this with no action is just entertainment. You need to actually apply what you have learned. Stop preparing for the perfect time. You're already you're already literally delaying yourself from making mistakes and building from them, etc. The more you delay this, the harder it is going to start when you start accruing more responsibilities. Basically, I can sum it up just like that, bro. The longer you take, oh, I'm going to start, uh, you know, I'm going to start next week, next month, next year. You're never going to start, bro. You're going to keep pushing it back just like how you've been doing it with working out, all that stuff. And that applies to everything, your business, whatever you want to do. You're going to keep pushing it back. So you have to start right now. Even if you do one thing, it's better than doing nothing. you got to understand that a 0.1% is better than 0%. Because if I do 0.1% every day, it's going to stack up to eventually, it's going to eventually get up to 100%. It might take forever, mad long. But guess what? That 0.1% is more than 0%. 0% never adds up to anything. It stays at 0. 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 equals 0. 0.1 plus 0.1 plus 0.1 plus 0.1 equals 0.4 or 0.3, whatever. However, 0.1s I said, you get the point. The point is it's more than 0. So the goal is to do 1% each day. Obviously, if you can do more, do more. But if you're trying to think, oh, I need to start when this... No, bro. Start today. So that's it for the video. Rapid fire quick. I try to keep this video short. Still ended up being long, but I'm going to see y'all in the next one. Tap in with me. Gang.